I knew rescuing a baby squirrel was going to be rewarding. Whoa, careful. But I didn't expect him to become attached to me. You have to stay here. And he now absolutely refuses to sleep in his cage and instead finds a warmer place. My hoodie. In this episode, this little squirrel has the energy and strength to play. Did you win? He's really becoming a little character and I decide to name him Ouch. You'll find out. I was going to make a coffee, but I can make you some milk instead. Ow! <laughs> Look at you. Go on my back. Oh, your mouth is warm. I can really tell the baby squirrel knows me now. Let's go this way. You ready for some milk? He's comfortable with me, the house, and our routine. And he listens to me. <laughs> oh gosh. What are you doing? Ow! Ouch! Hello. <laughs> You're a nightmare already. I've now had the baby squirrel for three days and I am amazed at how much he has grown. He definitely looks more like a squirrel, but I am also amazed at how much his activity levels have changed. On the first day, he mostly just wanted to sleep. He was a little bit playful, but today he spent maybe two hours running around the house, climbing curtains. We've sort of learned how to play chase so he'll try and run after me and then run up my leg. He's climbed halfway up the stairs, so it could be that even in a week, he needs to be outside in his outdoor enclosure, which I need to make. What are you doing? Hello. You've done a really smelly wee. Yeah, you have. The baby squirrel was getting really active and he needed a playmate. Ideally, hand rearing two baby squirrels is best because they can play together and socialize. But this little orphan just has me. and I quickly understood his game. I know where you are. He would hide under the curtains, run between them, and if I caught him, we'd play.
Have you tired yet? No. Yeah, get that. Attack. He was definitely growing quickly, and this was the first day he was able to stand on his back legs. today to collect some lichen and the plan is to make a natural dray for the baby squirrel and I'm hoping that he'll be more comfortable to sleep with natural smells rather than the hay. The past few feeding sessions have been a little tricky as he's refused to go back into the cage. In the end he settled in my hoodie and I hope a natural dre that I'm going to make will bring him more comfort. Hello, sleepy. big yawn. You hungry? It's been a few hours, hasn't it? I brought you this flower. Whoa, careful. <laughs> you do want a flower. No, you don't want a flower. Okay. What do you want? Apple? Let's sort you some milk. Breakfast, lunch. Okay. No? Yeah, we got now. He's less and less interested in milk and he really just wants hazelnuts at the moment, which is good. They're high in protein. He likes to sit right there. <laughs> I just wanted to quickly mention that this is the last chance you can order my 2024 Red Squirrels calendar only because we're running out of time to ship them before the new year. Thank you Squarespace for sponsoring this video. I host my online shop on Squarespace and on Squarespace it's really simple and easy to make a professional website. I can check orders on the app and update inventory and any website design or editing I usually do on my computer. Either way it's really straightforward and if you're interested in giving Squarespace a go head to squarespace.com slash dannyconnorwild and you can save 10% off a new purchase of a website or a domain. Thank you. 
Something I wasn't expecting to discover is that squirrels are ticklish. Tickling under his arms and tummy would cause him to grunt and he'd chase my finger for me to continue. I had been thinking of a name for a few days. I wanted a name that would fit his character or something unique to him. One afternoon, the baby squirrel seemed sleepy. I'm sorry, I need a shower. But refused to go into the cage. You have to stay here. Oh, all right, all right. You want to go back in my pocket, yes? So I put him in my hoodie pocket and he fell asleep almost immediately. Feeding became easier too because he didn't need to leave his bed. I started to do everything with him in my hoodie pocket and it instantly comforted him. Maybe it was my warmth. I thought, what sort of baby animal lives in a pouch? A kangaroo. Roo is a nice name for a baby squirrel. So meet Roo, the baby squirrel that lives in my hoodie. I tried to put Roo in his cage and he's not having it, so he's back in my hoodie. But with the lichen I collected, I'm going to create a natural bed and try and get a photo of him sleeping. But I'm going to have to try and do this with him in my hoodie. <laughs> so let's see how this goes. I've seen squirrels collect lichen and moss. So I knew this is the main lining of squirrel drays. Can you pretend you're sleeping? <laughs> what do you think? Okay. Yeah, I'm sorry. It was a bad idea. <laughs> I should never have thought about it. Look, the hoodie is here. You're going into my armpit. I just tried to put him in the box and I feel like it looks good and he immediately went back to my hoodie. I really thought that if I had natural smells, smells of the forest, he'd at least sit in it for a minute. <laughs> but he's gone straight back here. <laughs> I literally can't do anything with Rue in my hoodie. I've made some dinner and I couldn't chop because it would wake him up. So I've just chucked some frozen stuff with some spaghetti. But I did wake him up and I think it's time for some food. Oh, it's jammed, hang on, there we go. Good. What about this look? 
If he tries to go into my armpit, I know he wants to go into the hoodie because he thinks it's in there. And then if I do this, he'll go in. Look, off you go, see you later. Good night. I've now actually just been dropping food into my hoodie pocket and he just eats when he wakes up, which kind of works well because then it's not a whole fiasco to feed him. It's much easier. I've been following the squirrels in my garden for three years and the females have recently started bringing their kits to the garden. Fika, who is now a year old, has had her first litter this year. My boyfriend actually saved her from a cat when she was six months old. Less than 20% of baby red squirrels survive their first year. But the most difficult stage to overcome is when they first become independent at 12 weeks old and they're completely alone. Careful the skin. Hi. Do you want to go back to the hoodie? Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> oh, you're doing a wee wee. Get out, get out. I need to clean it out. Get out. You're going to get it on your tail. No, not to the wee. That was a big wee. In the next episode, Rue finds his middle name, Chaos. Rue is a teenager and he's a pea splashing, stick destroying, junk food eating bundle of chaos. Juan and I start building his release cage quickly, but Rue has a long journey before his release to the wild.